Shalom everyone, I'm at Vladingen East, it's a railway station as you can see. Um, my train is arriving within, I believe within um, six minutes. I'll be heading towards one of those benches over there. By the way, this there's also a bus station over there. Let's watch. I came with the bus over there and then I transferred over here. And the train towards um, Hoek van Holland towards the towards the beach is already coming from there. And there's a highway behind me over here. Anyway, um, oh yeah, there are the benches, but I'm going to walk to a bench much much further away. Well. I'm glad you're watching my videos. I'm also glad you're watching this video. I really, appreci really uh, appreciate it. And um, I want to talk in this recording. I want to talk about. Um, oh, hold on a minute. I need to check how I get the best light on the, in the camera. Oh, this way is good. You know, guys. Walking in the spirit is very powerful. I often talk about it. You see, but many still don't realize that the only alternative of walking in the spirit is walking in the flesh. You see, and I'm going to use other terms now, but I was saying the same thing as the scripture is saying. Either you walk in agreement with Jesus Christ or you operate in accusation. That's how simple it is, guys. You see, it does not matter if you are literally accusing someone or not. If you're not walking in agreement with Jesus Christ, you're operating in some kind of accusation. Either you are the victim of accusation and uh, evil spirits are using you to manifest themselves, or you are a perpetrator um, in accusation and you're enforcing negativity upon others. It doesn't really matter. If you're not walking in agreement with Christ, you're walking in agreement with accusation. Okay? And now, for example, guys, <coughs> labeling. What is labeling? I'm going to give an example now. Let's say you have a guy. Let's call him Jack. I know Jack is a very European name. Let's call him um, Kreflo. Kreflo is 14 years old. He lives in um, the south. He lives somewhere in uh, Florida, in a black neighborhood. And one day, the cops rush towards the house. The police car ar arrives in the neighborhood. Everyone is watching, watching, watching what's going on. The police rush out of the car, bang on the door, nobody opens, so they break in the door, they drag um, Kreflo out, tell him to get in the car, get in the car, he gets behind in the car, and they drive away. It's a fact, an historical fact, it happens. But now, next day, John is at school again, at high school, and now he hears that there was, there's an, there's an, there was an invitation for a birthday party, but he was not invited and neither did anyone tell him about it. So after, uh, so he thinks, okay, I don't care about this. But then a week later, he hears that there was also an election for um, some projects and for people that were interested in computer science and in Asia and Japan. And everyone knows he loves Japan and Korea and he loves computers. Yet nobody wanted even told him about it. You see, about the project. And now it begins with, now after a few years, after a few months, someone tells him, you know, when that, uh, should I add, maybe I'll take this train, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll keep on recording, I don't care. Hold on guys, I'll continue with my parable. Yes, I have everything. Good. Let's see. Um, I'll go further. I just 
Let's see here. Okay. So after a few months, someone from school tells him, Graffler, when the cops came at your house and you went with them, people made conclusions about you that didn't that didn't make any sense. But people felt guilty about it, but they don't want to admit that they caused harm to you. And other people went too far with it. So now nobody talks about it, the people are just pretending, but there's an accusation upon your life now. And people don't want to admit that they are wrong. So you will have to find a way to deal with it. So now look at this carefully. Yes, the cops came at his house and they took the cops rushed in and took him away. But what was going on? Kreflo's mother was in the hospital. She just had an accident. Oh, hold on. I need to show my device. No, not device, I mean my transportation cards. Here it is. Are you? Okay. You see? His mother just had an accident, a yeah. fatal accident, and she was on the ER. So that's why the cops came at the house immediately to bring Creflo to the hospital. Now, that's why they came at his house with such force, because it was an urgent situation. It was not because Creflo did anything against the law, nor because he broke in, nor did, that did, nor did he commit a murder or anything. It was a, it was a circumstance that needed his attention. You see? But the people did not want to believe it. They already made up their mind he's a black guy, he's an Afro American, his father is often absent, and he's 14 years old. So the cops came in the house, so he must be into criminality, he must be a, be a bad guy, he must be a bad influence. And there was no evidence whatsoever to back it up, but they formed an accusation based on what happened. You see? And then, guys, I can give another example, because I don't want to give too much Afro-American examples, even though I'm good in it. Do not... I don't want to give a bad uh, impression to you. So I'm going to give a so-called white example now. Let's say you have, um, you have a girl, her name is Celine. Celine is 16 years old, alright? And she, how about, uh, let's, maybe I should transfer to another place. You know, I'll do just that. Hold on. Well, I'll be sitting over here now. Much better. Okay. Or a better way to sit around here. Okay, now, you have this girl, her name is Celine. She's 16 years old. And she. One day she, uh, when she appeared with a blue eye, or they called it blue eye in Dutch, I know in English, anyway, she had a wound around her ear, she was beaten, around her eye, I mean, she was beaten. And Celine often wears short skirts, uh, she wears nylon, she wears high heels, and she loves red lipstick. So, when she appeared with a beaten eye, her peers, and also the parents of other of those peers, and also some of the teachers, began to say, hmm, probably she had a bad customer, probably the sex wasn't that good as a customer wanted, or maybe her father finally smacked her and brought sense into her. What they're not aware of is that, um, her stepfather. Hold on. Yeah. 
yes, I'm already got to bed now. All right. Now, but what they're not aware of is that their, their stepfather is a born again Christian, and that that girl has an uncle that's sexually molesting her. You see? They're not aware of all of that. They're just thinking she's a promiscuous whore and she's just, you know what, she deserved it. That's also labeling. Now, the two examples I've given you, they both involve two victims who had the spell of accusation placed upon them by people that were envious of them. Because what? Shut up. You know, what Kreplo was not aware of was that there were a lot of peers and parents of those peers, and also some of the uh, professors and teachers, they were envious and angry that Kreplo had so much talent in computer science and that Kreplo had ambition to go to Korea and Japan. So secretly, they wanted something bad to happen to him so that they can feel good about themselves. What Celine also didn't realize was that some of that her own mother is envious of her and is uh, accusing her behind her back all the time. And what she's not also not aware of is that the, the accusations of her mother, that negativity, also caused indirectly her Sex, the, error, the sexual abuse she underwent by her uncle. See, she's not aware of the spiritual in all of that. You see, but she had, she was labeled, and by that labeling, she received the mark of a victim. What the mark of a victim implies is that an individual has now a spiritual label on them that will attract angry demonic spirits onto them and those angry demon spirits will cause other humans to victimize the individual and the mark of a victim you see a mark of victim I mean is something that only can be enforced upon you by a perpetrator you see you can disagree with it a lot of people do, but it does not mean that by disagreeing with it or denying it that the mark isn't, has, has not been placed upon you. You see? And um, a, mark, the, a mark of a victim, it can mess up your whole life and your whole development. You see? And that's why you have certain people that no matter, wherever they go, people tend to treat them badly. And others say, well, they don't have any manners, it's because it is false. No. Of course, you have people that are unkind, but unkind and um, impoliteness is not a causality for being treated badly or for being abused. I might also tell you. You know, guys, the mark of a victim, I was talking about it, and that has been placed upon you it will cause because there are demons that are attached to you because of that mark it will cause people to treat you badly and to it will cause things to go wrong for you okay and it doesn't matter how polite how the man and how good to treat others is something spiritual attention has been placed upon you by the negative agreements of others about you so that's why you have a lot of people who are terrified about what others think about them. And often, I used to do that also. I would say to such people, 
get over it. Um, I'll go over there. I would tell such people, get over it. What others think about you, that's their problem. You see, but that was a too simplistic way of thinking. You see, it's not that simple. Because those negative agreements are placed on you by others. Maybe I'm going to the lounge. Well, I don't. No, not going over here. I'll go downstairs. You see, because those people that agree negatively about you, most of the time they don't repent. So what many people think is, if I can just give the right impression all the time, I'll be left alone. And um, this way of thinking is backwards. Because what happens now Hold on. What happens now is that you agree with your perpetrators against you. And by doing this, before you know it, you are the perpetrator. By the way, this is Rotterdam Rhyme now. Behind me you can see it. Um, so, what I want to say about labeling and as you guys know, I don't care what people think about me. That's why I'm walking around with my netbook, with my, on my, with my webcam on my netbook, making this video in public, outside. Some people look at me strangely. I don't care. What I want to make clear about labeling is that it's real, it happens, and it harms. And as I mentioned before in the video, that's why, that's why you need, that's why you need to operate in agreement with Christ. You need to do that. You see, there are many believers who are holding on to traditions, holding on to good manners, holding on to this and that, except of letting things, uh, instead of letting things go and agree completely with Christ. Because listen, every agreement, every establishment that's not established by Christ or in harmony with Christ, it's established and in harmony with demons. It's one of the two. There is no, there's no neutral ground. And you know, guys, there are some of you who are watching this, or maybe many of you who have marks of victim, of victimhood upon you. Okay. And you need deliverance from that. So people can pray for you and all of that, but you need to get in agreement with Christ. Because what happens is, often, after a while, you agree so much with the mark that's been placed upon you, that you've become the accusation that people accuse you of. You see? And then it's, well, then it's a bit complicated. Because even if the mark is removed, the mark has been unused for so long that you begin to resemble the accusation that was placed upon you. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The blood of Jesus Christ is powerful enough to break all of that. Just agree with the blood. Agree with Jesus. Agree with him. Well, I'm going to walk through town a little bit. I'll meet some people soon. And guys, again, the blood of Jesus Christ is very powerful. Agree with him. Agree with Christ. Shalom, people. What's happening there? Yeah, peace.